Part 2. Now draw the medial face of a cerebral hemisphere. Include the corpus callosum for reference. First draw the calcarine sulcus and show that the primary visual cortex, Broadmont area 17, lies on its banks. Visual cortical processing begins within this area. Next, draw the limbic lobe. Show that memory processing occurs most notably in the hippocampus and parahippocampal gyrus in the inferior aspect of the limbic lobe. Then show that learning is affiliated with the posterior superior limbic lobe, the posterior cingulate gyrus. Now we will label the three prefrontal cortical regions and learn their functions. Show that motivation stems from the antero superior limbic lobe, the anterior cingulate gyrus, and what is referred to as anterior cingulate or medial frontal cortex. Injury here results in a lack of attention and motivation, abulia. Then use the lateral face of the cerebral hemisphere to show that executive function or task sequencing relies on the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex. Injury here results in organizational deficits. And now show that the orbitofrontal go cortex governs social behavior. Damage here results in impulsivity. Finally, although we learn about the anterior cingulate cortex along with the other prefrontal cortices, it is helpful to place it in the following context as well. The posterior cingulate cortex affiliates with the hippocampus and is part of the posterior cingulate network of learning and memory, whereas the anterior cingulate cortex affiliates with the amygdala and is part of the anterior cingulate network of motivation, attention, and behavior. This concludes our diagram.